But that doesn't mean I always can. And in this particular situation, since you came into the job declaring your fixation on taking the former president down, and you see some of the things that's transpiring, I actually think Letitia James got a break today. Because if the judge had ruled that Trump's properties could be seized because he couldn't post bond on a $454 million, Hey guys, it's your girl Melanie and I have been calling it for a while now. The black community is turning against the Democratic Party. We see a lot of the tactics that they're, that they're using. We see mass abiding and the Democratic plantation trying to whip us with shame back onto the plantation, not being free thinking and, and just going along to, to get along. You know, because we're black, we're a monolith. We all think the same. We're all the same. We all have the same issues and care about the same things because to them, we are black first, not American first. And they don't see us as people. They just see us as, as, as a tool to do their bidding, to get the job done. But more and more black people have been waking up, even celebrities, and in particular, black men. I am seeing this, I actually may do a video where I go through Instagram comments, okay? Where you this, uh, this black woman posts something, it's like, y'all still voting for Biden? And the comments are all black people, majority black men, some black women saying, yeah, we are. We're done with Biden. So we're not seeing this just in the polls. We're not seeing this just in the, in, 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 you know, just anecdotally or just people want to say things like, I am seeing this on social media in comments, average people with thousands of comments replying to these things in black spaces that are on Instagram or on Twitter. So I find it interesting. So along with these, these things, we know that the woke liberal media refuses to accept this. They don't want to acknowledge it. They still want to prop up, you know, their black shields. If you if you're a, if you're a black or a woman of color, and if you're queer, if you have all these identity points, they're going to use you as a hammer to go against their enemies. They don't care about black women. They don't care about the black community. They don't care about these th about us. It's just if they can use you as a tool, just like Fanny Pack Willis and old Letty Letitia James up there in New York. A lot of Black people do not like them, do not like what they're doing and actually see them as a tool of the government, see them as government agents, seeing them as coming after our own people, because just the same way, same way that they're coming after, um, Trump, they have come after uh, black people and particularly black men. So I see black men leading this March. So when it comes to a celebrity man, and I've seen several, I'll do a couple videos about this. When Stephen A. Smith, he has been talking a different talk lately. He has been one of the wokest people, left, far left reaching, really people that you can find being at ESPN and with Disney. But it seems as though on his YouTube channel, he's changing his mind. He has a different tune. We're seeing this with a lot of guys. And, 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 and just understand that more, you're going to see more and more of this as the election keeps going. But I wanted to do just a reaction today to what he has to say in this video about Trump and Letitia James. Let's get into it. I wanted to touch on this particular story because it involves former President Trump and New York Attorney General Letitia James. This is the political news I wanted to touch on. It's where former President Donald Trump got a break today. An appeals court ruled Trump will not have to immediately post a bond of more than $454 million in the civil fraud case against him and his company. The court ruled Trump can delay the payment of the full bond for now while he appeals the case under the condition that he posts 175 million partial bond within seven day, within 10 days, I'm sorry. The February 16th judgment against the 2024 GOP nominee is one of four trials Trump is facing heading into the election. In this one, he's charged with manipulating his net worth and his family real estate company's property values to dupe lenders and insurers. This morning- Just so you know, I, I did a report on this and now I'm going to be, I'm still investigating this. Stay tuned for this video. You're going to want to please subscribe to my, my channel. Cause you're not going to want to miss when I actually do my full blown report on Letitia James actually commit doing the same thing that she has accused Donald Trump of uh, doing and has something to do with the Irish society in New, in New York. But the same person who broke the Hunter Biden laptop scandal is the same person who's broke this. You don't hear mainstream media talking about it at all, but I do believe this is something you're going to hear more and more about 
as this case starts to unfold. So that's one level of it I wanted to touch on if you guys don't know. I also just did a video if you haven't watched, I did it right before this one. I just posted on my channel where um, Trump has grounds to sue Letitia James for civil rights discrimination. And it all goes back to her campaign when she, uh, in 2018, where she wants to get rid of the stale, the pale, and the male. He actually has a basis to sue her in federal court for discrimination against, for race and gender. So guys, please subscribe you and hit the notification bell. You're not gonna miss as I, I dive deep into things that you're not going to see on too many mainstream uh, outlets. Trump wrote on his truth social that the number the judge set was, quote, fraudulent and tweeted, it should be zero. I did nothing wrong. Needless to say, Letitia James had her own version of things long before Trump spoke this morning. In February, after the ruling to pay the $454 million, this is what she had to say. Everyone must play by the same rules. We have a responsibility to protect the integrity of the marketplace. And for years, Donald Trump engaged in deceptive business practices and tremendous fraud. Donald Trump and the other defendants were ordered to pay $463.9 million. That represents 300. Look how proud she is. And why did she speak like un- February 27th, Donald Trump was ordered to pay 400 and it's like, what, like, it's just like, it's such an act. It's like, she's pretending to be human, but like winning an Oscar at the same time. I just want the people of New York to know I, Letitia James, and actually she doesn't move at all. It's just like, I, Letitia James, am a robot, a narcissist and sociopath, but I must pretend for the people. Does my human voice sound real to you? <laughs> it's like Cruella DeVille. She literally sounds like a villain. Oh my God. Ooh, and $63.9 million in disgorgement, plus $100 million in interest, which will continue to increase every single day. You see, ladies and gentlemen, I understand on one hand, you can perceive her as just doing her job. And I'm not going to lie to you. If you're a sister, a black woman in that position, I'm inclined to give you the benefit of the doubt because I want to. See, and this is one of Stephen A's things that he's always trying to give the benefit of the doubt because it's a black woman, because he has a mother, because he has sisters, because he was raised by women. And a lot of times black men in the, in the black community, that has been used as a hammer over them. That you got it, we, you know, this is your sister. This is your, this is your, you know, you got to support black women. But what we've seen, because if you guys don't know, I started this in the relationship space. And this isn't just about black and white. We're seeing this with every race. But I want in particular to talk about what he's saying really quickly and then we'll continue. But basically that you don't, you know, we're all skin folk. Okay, we're all skin folks, so therefore we're kin folk, but we're finding out we're not kin folk, we're individuals. And a lot of black men, especially in the gender war, a lot of black women, especially online, single black women in the dating market, talk about how they hate black men. They can't stand black men. And that started, you know, we, we know how these things started through the government and through welfare policies and all these things. And it was really a full blown experiment to divide and conquer the black community and separate men and women in that community. And so as that has gone on, there is a full on war. Black men aren't allowed to say or do anything. They call black men dusty, black men aren't worth anything. There used to be a woman on YouTube that talks about, de about deleting, if you're pregnant with a black male child, that you should delete it. Like it is, you know, it is just really insidious and evil. And because of these things, black men have risen up through something called the red pill and, and discussing these things and actually trying to empower themselves. One of the things that you see now that that divide has caused is a chasm with us politically. Now, that chasm is actually with every racial group. And that is in every, nearly every Western country where you see women are gone more liberal, more woke, more, you know, about uh, self first. And you see men are conservative, traditional, and think about the, the, think about family values and keeping certain traditions alive. And we see the, and, and we see a political divide where men are conservative, men are staring either 
they're going to be independent or they're going to be Republican. Most women are, they feel as though they, they, they go with a feelings based message and the me too and, and cancel culture and everything is feminism and everything is empowerment for women. They, they, they've been deceived into believing these things. So they lean more liberal. And we're, again, this is across all spectrums, but you are now seeing more, a lot of black men are tired of having to pander and cape for black women. A lot of white men are feeling the same way and where they're trying, they're waking up. And this isn't right now a discussion to divide men and women right now. I'm just giving you the reality, the facts. You can accept it or not accept it, but the research shows this. And I've done several videos actually showing the data of how this is happening in, er in nearly every single Western country in the world. And the worst right now is South Korea, uh, which there is grounds for divorce if your wife becomes a feminist. That's how bad it is. But that doesn't mean I always can. And in this particular situation, since you came into the job declaring your fixation on taking the former president down and you see some of the things that's transpiring, I actually think Letitia James got a break today because if the judge had ruled that Trump's properties could be seized because he couldn't post bond on a $454 million and you saw chains wrapped around the doors of Trump Plaza or any of his properties, he would have used it for his campaign. He would have used it to galvanize the troops to make everybody know that guess what? This dude, right? these people right here are trying to take me down. They're trying to manipulate the campaign. They know they can't beat me. So they're engaging in lawfare. Because they can't beat me straight up in the campaign. They're trying all of these criminal charges to throw against me. Whether it's criminal or civil, it doesn't matter. Anything they can to compromise me, to distract me, to avert, to avert having to go up against me. That's what they want to do. And ladies and gentlemen, tens of millions of people would have agreed with them. The worst thing that the state of New York or Georgia or any place Anybody has a case against Donald Trump. There are four count. There are there are four indictments, ninety-one counts, at least initially from months ago, that were against him. All of these things that have been going on, all of these court cases. There are two different court cases in New York today alone. All these things that have been doing, they've been doing. He's still the GOP nominee, the presumptive GOP nominee. He's ahead in the polls against Biden. The momentum has shifted in his direction. And I couldn't agree with noted pollster, the one and only Frank Lutz, days ago when he had this to say about the possibility of Trump's properties being seized and the kind of impact it would have absolutely positively had on his campaign for the presidency of the United States. Let me, let me, let me show it to you for yourself. Read it for yourself. There it is. Frank Lutz said it best. Okay, if the, if the New York Attorney General starts to take his homes away, starts to seize his assets, you're gonna create the greatest victimhood of 2024, and you're going to elect Donald Trump He's going to say that this is proof of a conspiracy to deny him the presidency, and he's going to go up in the polls just like every single time they indicted him. And where's the lie? Where is the lie? Even if you don't like Donald Trump, even if you don't agree with him, even if, you, if you're going independent, a lot of people are turned off by what they see as absolute witch hunts, as the, it was a way to shut him down. But the media is losing their mind. The, 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 the lefties, the lefty loons, the loony bin is losing their mind because they cannot believe it. You know, from the wars to, to how the economy's doing, the illegal immigration, D Joe Biden half dead at, at the job, like just, we're, and we're see, we're we don't have money in our pockets. We can't pay rent, inflation, like the economy is bad. Like everything is just falling apart. Like they're asleep at the wheel. And the only thing they keep talking about is identity politics and, and, and persecuting Trump. That's what they, that's their focus. 
is Trump and identity politics. They don't care about the average American. And this is why you see a lot of black and brown people in the different communities are waking up and it's like, listen, we're tired of it. We're not going to keep believing this propaganda every four years when Hillary Clinton wants to bring her hot sauce out, when Bill Clinton wants to play the saxophone or, uh, dead Joe Biden, it brings, uh, you know, massive Biden is coming to bring us fried chicken so he can get the vote, which he did recently. Like we're really tired of it. And a lot of people would rather take Trump and his antics, Trump and these different things because they feel like, you know what? If, if nothing else, we know what we're getting. If nothing else, we can see Trump for what he is. We see that he's not smooth. He's not a politician. He don't know how to hide his little stuff. It's like they would rather just have, have him than all of this stuff that's going on. And they actually like how brash he is and how he's like fighting back against the man, against the elite, against the power that be. And I'm just telling you what the streets are saying. You don't have to agree with it, but this is where you see this divide going on. And this is why people like Stephen A, he still has to toe the line, but more and more he's been speaking up on these things. And it's, it's quite fascinating, honestly. It would be the worst, most stupidest thing the left could possibly do and it would end their chances of knocking off Trump and winning the presidency again. They're not going to win. Like, it's, it's not, it's really a struggle right now, y'all. Trump had cameras at the ready, I believe. If they had voted against him, if they had not elected to grant him that 10-day reprieve to come up with $175 million, if they had done something along those lines, ladies and gentlemen, I promise you, they had to pay the price. He had went up in the polls. Yeah, because the money is not going to go into the New York's hand. You know where that money's going to go? Straight into the um, and then the money now is still going to go into supporting these illegal migrants, illegal immigrants. There, it's not going. to, You know, while they take away community centers and funding from the community, and this is another thing why Black people in inner cities are very upset. While these people get to live free, their bills pay, they get food, and now they get they get IDs, they're getting jobs, and now they're trying to push to get them to vote because again, black people are waking up and seeing our vote only counted when we actually had an, uh, enough of a voting block. Now they are replacing black people with illegal immigrants and by giving them handouts, hand over fist, something that ALC just loves. Just, she thinks that if you walk across the border, you should just become a citizen Im immediately. These are the things they want because that's how they increase their base they are leaving black people behind and this is why black people are waking up which is good news which is good news for the community and he would have more campaign dollars in his coffers and by the way his truth social platform they saying that's going to be like worth like six billion and three billion for him which means he's expected to have the money to pay you know how that happens ladies and gentlemen when you're running for the presidency of the united states and you got a chance to win, people line up to do you favors because they're expecting a return on their investment. If anyone knows how to milk that, it's Trump. Haven't you learned that by now? If you hadn't or haven't, you should be ashamed of yourself. I just wanted to touch on this. Sorry. The other thing that people see is he's uncancelable. He doesn't care. A lot of these politicians try to make nice, play nice, toe the line, say the right thing, do the right thing. And they, and, and they really try to pander. And this is like, Trump just don't, he just don't care. And a lot of people just starting to not care anymore. We're just tired. We just want our lives better. We don't want the same tired message every four years and there's no results we're tired of being lied to or told who we can and can't vote for just like joe biden told us that we're not black if we don't vote for him he has lost his daggone mind but anyway guys leave a comment below let me know what you think about this make sure you subscribe so i can keep bringing you these stories um and yeah i'll see you in the next one